But this is what we're gonna use for our guacamole. Um, we're gonna need the avocados. I'm going to need lime for the lime juice for the, um, the guacamole. We're gonna be using red onion. So make sure you have a red onion. Some cilantro. Okay, make sure you get some cilantro. We're gonna also need this for the rice. And that's going to be it for the guacamole. Now, the lettuce is, um, y'all, you all know already that um, Chipotle adds lettuce to their burrito bowls. So this is optional. You don't have to, but I like my burrito bowl with lettuce, so that's what this lettuce is for. I have the red lettuce here, and then I have the regular lettuce here. Also, for toppings for our bowl, the black beans. I like black beans. You can use pinto beans if you like, or Peruvian beans, but the black beans are what we're going to be using, and I got the Goya brand here. Okay, and then also for another topping, we have canned corn. And then, of course, I'm going to chop up some tomato for uh, more toppings for our burrito bowl. Um, what you want to do now is to go ahead and just peel them. And I will be using this also as a topping for my bowl. So just go ahead and peel your chiles after you've let them set after um, toasting them. Like they're, they'll get pretty easy to peel. See, like the skin will come totally right off. And I heighten chiles already peeled and diced and I have um, sliced up my chiles hueros and peeled them also and this will be another extra topping for our burrito bowls. I have my shrimp that I butterflied, deveined and also sliced in half. So these shrimp here are thinner than, than usual or regular. I've also seasoned my shrimp with Old Bay, cayenne pepper, some garlic salt, and regular pepper. I'm going to be adding lime. And then some cilantro. That actually was a whole lime I added. That was just the other half. These are both the ones I added. And I'm going to add a pinch of cilantro. It depends on how much you... Okay. So there's the pepper. And then just keep mixing this until it's all well mixed. It's okay if you're... Um, your rice is still a little warm, perfectly fine. Okay guys, everything's ready and I can put it all together now. So this is how we're gonna start it off with. Here I have my rice, my cilantro and lime rice. I'm gonna put a small layer, a bottom layer of rice. With all the ingredients that you have going on here, it's, this pile becomes really high. Just um, keep piling it on. And then I'll now be adding my black beans. Here are my black beans. They're nice and warm. Add some black beans like this. Okay. From this point on, you can start adding um, the meat. In my case, I will be adding some shrimp. Let me go get the shrimp really quick. And then you can go ahead and add um, chicken afterwards. So here is my shrimp. I added some shrimp, nice and warm. And now I will be adding some chicken on top of that shrimp, like this. Hold on. There goes my grilled shrimp and chicken. And now I will be adding, along with this, let me put this down. I'll be adding the tomato. Just some tomato like so. Here are my Anaheim chiles. 
I'll be adding some Anaheim chilies. I went ahead and I peeled these and I um, diced them up along with the seeds. They're not really spicy. And then the chile hueros, I'm gonna add these. I only sliced these up, so I'm gonna add them this way by slice. Some corn. Here's the elote. We're gonna sprinkle this over. This is fine. Add a little bit of cilantro. Not too much, like so. And then um, a little bit of lettuce on top of this. You could add a, a lot or less, however you like yours. And then of course a, a glop of guacamole. And I did make some red salsa the day before. And this is a salsa that I will be adding to mine. Like that. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Um, just your veggies and your meat or your seafood. This is um, our burrito bowl. Please go ahead and like this video and leave me a comment. Let me know what your burrito bowl came out like. Um, also, subscribe if you haven't. 